Hello, Mr. Urias. How are Good you? Evening, teacher. I am fine, teacher, but uh, maybe a few minutes. It's, it's raining here. All right. So it started to rain a few minutes ago. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, heavy raining or it's just a uh, mild raining? Uh, heavy raining. Heavy but, raining. Okay. Uh, Electric is electric. Okay, storms and uh, oh. yeah. Okay, over. Okay, hope everything is nothing bad will happen tonight. Hopefully, everything is okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Estela, Lara, how are you today? Happy teacher. Very good. Happy, 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 happy camper, huh? Yes, I can sleep. Uh, puedo hablar más fluido sin estar tosiendo. Oh my goodness, look at you. Congratulations. Gracias. All right. All right. And how was work, Stella? ¿Cómo estuvo el trabajo? Hello. Good. Okay. So it's so so. Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Hi, Luis Enrique. How are you today? Hi. <laughs> Are you in San Salvador or outside? Are you in San Salvador or? No, I'm here in San Salvador. Yes. Okay, in San Salvador. Yes. All right. My home. Okay, very good. And uh, Rufino Amilcar, how are you today? Okay, very good. Uh, Rufino Amilcar. I feel good. You? Okay. Very good. Very good. How was work? Uh, I work. I work. Uh, I like this day. Okay. So it was okay. It was okay. Very good. And uh, Jenny Sanchez, how are you today? Oh my I'm goodness. Okay. I'm fine, teacher. You're fine. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, today we're gonna uh, we are going to go over some uh, a, uh, good things like how we're gonna be able to use uh, uh, the word how in uh, in combination with other words uh, with uh, adjectives. So it's gonna be very fun. But before we start, I would like to know if we have any questions uh, in regard to uh, yesterday's class. Si tiene alguna pregunta acerca de lo que vimos ayer. Uh, si no, yo voy a empezar a preguntar, ¿verdad? Como siempre, siempre. Uh, para hacer un review y ver si el, la información que vimos ayer, eh, eh, todos tuvieron la oportunidad de, de entenderla 100%. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yesterday we were talking about uh, um, adjectives and uh, superlatives uh, adjectives. And also we went over the uh, structure, high uh, over the structures. And, um, and um, also after that, we talk about intonation and pitch. Uh, can any one of you can tell me what an intonation is and why it, it is important for us to know about intonation? Ya cuando empieza a preguntar, todos se ponen bien serios, así como que... Wow, ¿Qué es intonación y para qué la usamos y por qué es importante saber de la intonación? Intonación. Es el pitch. 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 Es that we can differentiate uh, when it goes up and goes down or stays the same. 
what are we trying to um, to convey? Tell me. Yes, when you higher your pitch, when you high or when you lower your pitch, what are you trying to do? Give the intention of the world. Okay. But we can an idea on the of the okay. Luis Enrique es el último que está contestando, pero lastimosamente se oye cortado, ¿verdad? No sé si es mi, mi, mi internet o es el internet de él, pero yo lo escucho cortado, no puedo entender lo que me está diciendo. Y... Pero sí, algo me está tratando de decir. Y... Alguien... ¿Alguien más puede ayudarle a Luis? I think uh, Hi. it is about the, the intonation for give the correct idea. Okay, so... At the moment I'm speaking. Okay, at the moment of speaking, you're trying to transfer some information. So you want to convey a meaning, right? Uh, or emotion or uh, your expression so that's the reason we use intonation so our message can be transferred to the other person uh, with the correct um, meaning that's the reason why and what is a pitch pitch is the pitch. Pitch is the highness and lowness Lowness of the voice. voice. Yes. The voice. It's yes. your highness or your lowness. Highness of, or your low. Yes. Of your voice. Yes. Cuando, voice. En otras palabras, es cuando gritas o no gritas. Yes. Eso es. Yes. Cuando gritas o no. Ese es el. De... Lo alto y lo bajo. ¿Verdad? De su voz. De su voice. Yes. Basically, that's, uh, that's uh, basically what we went uh, over yesterday. And today, what we're going to be talking yes. about is about distances and measurements. ¿Qué son, okay. um, dis what is a distance? ¿Qué es una distancia? Distance. Distance. Is the space between two points or two Okay, points? very good. Yes, it's a space between two points, right? A point A and point B. Yes, that's the distance. It's, it's the space between those two points, between uh, point A and point B. Very good. And what is uh, measurements? What are measurements? Measurements. Measurements. Yes. So let's... Uh, let's uh, the... Let me write down what... Uh, 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 the Tatani... measurements... Teacher, the measurements could be the, the units, like inch, like uh, centimeters, meters. La medición. Medición. Esa sería la, la traducción, ¿verdad? Medición. Sí, points, yeah. Ok. So, eso es lo que nos dijo uh, Tatiana. Tatiana nos dijo que es la distancia. Distance is the space between two points. Yes. Yeah. Entonces, ese space, nosotros lo medimos, ¿verdad? Y eso es, eh, entonces, eh, eh, ahí es donde entran los measurements. Measurements. Yes. Eh, ahí es donde entran los measurements. Entonces, ¿qué son measurements? Measurements. Uh -huh. 
It is the the units. Units, yes. That we... Yes. Units. Yes. Units. Use uh, for measurements like, uh, for example, inch. Yes. Centimeters. Kilometer. Matter and feet. Yes. Units used to count the distance. Yes. Yes. Eso es lo que usamos, right? Units to count the distance. Yeah. Or deepness of a place. Yes. The length. We use uh, length. So we're going to go over uh, those uh, type of uh, distances. Uh, big, yes, on the size, the high, la altura, the deep, lo profund, la profundidad, uh, los bigis, how deep is your love? Have you heard that song? How deep is your love? How deep is your love? Yeah. Uh, how long? Que tan largo? Yes. Oh, how hot? Que ¿Qué tan la, eh, la temperatura? ¿Qué tan alta está la temperatura? O how cold? ¿Qué tan baja está la temperatura? So, vamos a usar ese tipo de, 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 de medidas y de distancias, pero antes de eso, uh, vamos a ver eh, la diferencia de how long versus how long time y how much how much time versus how many time how many times okay so we're gonna see the how long versus how long time and how much time versus how many times Y vamos a ver unos ejemplos. We're going to look at some examples. I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to write uh, three sentences for you and you're going to decide which sentence is the correct one and which are not the correct ones and why. We're going to analyze the sentences and see uh, why they are not correct. Yeah, because we make a lot of mistakes uh, using um, this type of uh, questions. So using how. So today we're going to try to uh, make sure that we understand and we apply the word how correctly in our sentences. So the first sentence that, that I want you to look at and tell me if it is correct or not is how um, long time have you been here? This will be a sentence number one. So sentence number two, it will be how long time, how long have you been here? Mm -hmm. And the third one is how many time? Have you been here? Okay, so we have these uh, three sentences. Which one is correct? And why the other two are not correct? Can you take a look at the sentences and tell me which one do you think is the correct one? And which ones do you think are not correct and why? Teacher. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
I think the, the correct one is the number three. Number three, okay. I think it's number two. Number two, okay. So we have two answers. Uh, we have uh, number two and number three. Number one. Number one. We have another another one. Number one. It's number three, teacher. Number three. Okay. Three. Okay. Number three, teacher. Number three. Okay. Okay. Now, the, the correct one is number two. This is the correct one. How long have you been here? That's the correct way to ask uh, for a period of time. Number three, this one is, is a, um, a word that we use uh, for countable nouns. So if this is countable, then time must have the S over here. So how many times have you been here? Yeah. So if we put the S at the end of times, then it's, it's, it's correct to say that way. The other one over here, how long time? Yes, when we use how long, we already um, uh, are asking for time. So the, the word time is extra over here. How long have you been here? So that will be the correct way to ask. So, now, let's take a look into the word, how long? So we can understand the question, how long? So when you say how long, what are you actually asking for? Cuando usted dice, cuando usted pregunta con how long, ¿qué es lo que verdaderamente está preguntando I think por tiempo cuánto tiempo in that case is the distancia we, we are we are asking for cuánto cuánto tiempo so amount of time very good yes we're asking for an amount of time when you say how long so Within that uh, amount of time, we're going to have uh, minutes. Yes. We can have days. Or we can have years. Yeah. And uh, other things like uh, seconds, right? Etc. So when whenever you start a question with how long, then you automatically you're asking for amount of time. That's the reason why when we have the first sentence over here and we say how long time, we are just like, a, it was like a redundancy. Redundancy is redundancia, yes. That's the reason why it was uh, grammatically incorrect to write how long time. So how long, when we say how long, we already are asking for amount of time. For example, let's see an example. An example will be how long, how long have you been in San Salvador? When Luis, uh, when, cuando Luis viene a San Salvador, San Salvador. Le podemos preguntar eso, ¿verdad? We can ask, hey Luis, uh, how long have you been in San Salvador? Yes. How long have you been in San Salvador? Entonces, Luis, ¿cómo contestaría? I have. Puede contestar así o la forma corta, ¿cuál sería? I'm. Two days. Two days. Esa sería la forma más corta de decir, ¿verdad, Luis Alonso? Two days. Oh, only. Two only. days. 
only, only two days. Yes. Esa sería la respuesta. Only two days. Mm -hmm. Yes. O puede repetir otra vez la pregunta. He can uh, repeat the question again. Oh, I have been in San Salvador only two days. Puede decir eso también. No hay nada de malo. No hay nada de malo decir eso. Pero lo más natural, lo más natural sería, oh, only for two days. Yeah. Teacher, only for two days. How long have you been in San Salvador? Um, only for two days, teacher. Oh, you can say it, uh, a week. A week. Yeah. A week. Oh, two weeks. Mm, two weeks. Como estamos preguntando Two por days. tiempo. Estamos preguntando por tiempo, ¿verdad? How long? Yes. Entonces él va a contestar el tiempo. Two weeks. Nada más. El tiempo estamos cuando decimos how long have you been in San Salvador? Él dice two weeks. Mm, two days. Ah, oh, only two hours, teacher. I just got here. Yes. Ahí es diferente. Two, two, uh, two hours. Two hours. Uh, Two hours, teacher. Two hours, teacher. I just got here. Yeah. As if it, oh, two hours, uh, teacher. I just got here. Yes. Okay. Estamos preguntando por el tiempo. Y Luis Enrique, ¿estás casado? Yes, I am. Okay. So, yo le preguntaría, how long have you been married? Mm -hmm. Yes. How long have you been married? Yes. ¿Qué le está preguntando? El tiempo, ¿verdad? No me va a contestar, oh, with uh, uh, Carmen. No me va a decir eso, con Carmen, no, porque no, no tiene nada que ver una cosa con la otra, ¿ya? Entonces, how long have you been married? Y él me dice. About, about 20 years. About 20 years. About 20 years, teacher. Yes, about 20 years. Yeah, es todo. About 20 years, teacher. Yes. Oh, o oh, si sí, a él le parece muy poco tiempo, pues estar viendo con su esposa, dice. Only 20 years, teacher. Only 20 years, yes. Esperando vivir otros 60 más, ¿verdad? Only 20 years, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Entonces, eh, how long, acuérdense, how long es um, preguntando por el tiempo. Yeah. Oh, Olivia, Olivia, do you work? Yeah. Yes, okay. And, uh, where do you work? I work in Mexicanos, in the school. Mexicanos. Ok. ¿Y cómo se llama la compañía que trabaja? School. Una escuela. Oh, school. Ok. School. And yo le preguntaría, how long? How long? Have you? Have you worked worked there? Hmm? How long have you worked there? Yes? ¿Y usted me contestaría? I worked uh, 10 years. Yes, 10 years, teacher. Yeah. It's still 10 years. Yes, 10 years, teacher. Yes. 10 years, teacher. Yeah. No es todo, no, no. Es como el how long dijimos que era para time, ¿verdad? Time, yes. Entonces, how long ya lleva el time ahí, yes. Ahora, otro que se parece a ese, yes, pero se escribe diferente, es how much time. Aquí sí podemos poner el time. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos, el how much es cuánto, y es, no podemos decir, ¿cuánto have you been married? ¿Cuánto qué, teacher? No quedaría bien, yes. Este no es como el how long, que el how long ya lleva inferred the word time, yes. En este, how much, tenemos que agregarle el time, yes. 
Entonces, el how much es igual que el otro. Estarían preguntando el qué, Luis Alonso. How long? How much time? ¿Por qué estaríamos preguntando? Por un, un tiempo específico. Lo mismo a, que a how long, time. ¿verdad? Time. Amount how of long? time. Yes. Yeah. Amount of Amount. time. Yes. Lo mismo. Time. Y siempre. Yes. Podemos decir uh, days. Para no escribir lo mismo de la misma forma. Days. Weeks. Uh, minutes. Etc. Yeah. Minutes, etc. Entonces estaríamos preguntando lo mismo, pero cuidado, mucho cuidado, ¿ya? ¿yeah? En este, te, la estructura sería how much time, y es, el otro es how long, no le pongan el time, porque ya estamos preguntando de time, este sería how much time. Ok, entonces vamos a ver, um, Estela, eh, do you work? Yes. Ok, ok. Entonces, vamos a, a preguntarle a Estela. Estela, le voy a decir, how much, how much time, how much time does it, does it take you to get to work? Mm? How much time does it take you to get to work? Es la pregunta que yo le digo a Estela. ¿Y Estela qué me va a contestar? Un año. ¿Un año? ¿Cómo me entiendes? ¿Hasta dónde va? How much time does it take you? ¿Cuánto tiempo okay. te toma to get to work para llegar al trabajo? Para el trabajo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go, teacher. Mm. I got it. I got it, teacher. <laughs> Begin 20 minutes. Eh, sí, dígame en inglés. inglés. 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes, teacher. Yes, 15. Yeah, 15. 15 minutes, teacher. 15. 15, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, teacher. ¿Sí? No necesitamos otra cosa, solo decir el tiempo, porque me está preguntando el block of time. So, how much time is the amount? Eh, ¿Qué tiene amount? Y, ¿Qué es amount? Y? Amount of time. Days, weeks, and minutes. So, how much time does it take you to get to work? And you say, oh, 15 minutes, teacher. Yes, 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Ese es, ese es para preguntar el tiempo, ¿ya? Eh, Jenny Sánchez, ¿usted está casada? No, teacher. No, ¿tiene novio? Yes. Oh, okay. I have. Okay. Le voy a preguntar algo, ¿ok? How much time have you waited for your uh, boyfriend to propose to you? How much time have you waited? Waited, right? Have you waited for your boyfriend to propose? How much time have you waited for your boyfriend to propose to you? Hmm? Yeah. Mm. Ya, me, ya me puso en problemas, teacher. <laughs> yeah. About to... Two, four, four years. Oh, okay. Uh, two, two, four years, teacher. Yes. 
Ok. Yes, eso es lo único que estoy, lo, lo, la información que estoy preguntando es el tiempo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto tiempo ha estado, ha esperado usted para que su, su novio le proponga matrimonio? Y usted dice, four years, teacher, and I'm still waiting, y todavía esperando, diga. <laughs> okay, very good, excellent. Entonces, el how much time estoy preguntando por tiempo, ¿verdad? Yes. Estamos esperando por, estamos preguntando por tiempo. So the answer to these questions um, are going to be about time. So, las respuestas a estas preguntas va a ser siempre tiempo, nada más. Then, uh, si usted me hubiera dicho, oh, how much time have you waited for you, your boyfriend to propose to you? Y usted me dice, well, I've been uh, with him uh, two years and um, we've been uh, living together. Eso no tiene nada, ¿verdad? No tiene nada que ver con la pregunta. Porque es solamente el time. So, your, uh, the answer to these questions are going to be about time only. Yes. Estamos bien hasta ahí. Entonces, ya vimos la diferencia entre how long y how much time. Cuando usen el how long, no voy a usar el how long time. Yes, porque no se usa. El how much time, sí, porque ahí sí, sí vamos a usar el time, la palabra time. Estamos bien hasta ahí. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, in conversation, we usually use how long. El how much time sí lo usamos, pero en, en para, 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 se oye más natural and more common to use how much time, ¿ok? Entonces, lo podemos usar el how long, pero para hoy, si nos queremos oír, eh, we want to be heard the more natural or more common, so we're going to be using how much time. Va a usar el how much time, ¿ok? Very good. Vamos a ver el otro que dijimos que íbamos a ver también. Es el how many, ¿verdad? How many times. Yes, el how many times. El how many times, ¿para qué creen ustedes que lo usamos? Tania Pleites. O cualquiera, cualquier otro. El how many times. ¿Para qué lo vamos a hacer? Anybody. To get a... Ok, yes. Solo vamos a usar for numbers of events. Yes. Número de eventos, ¿verdad? O oh, las tantas veces que usted me está diciendo. Number of events. So we're going to count. Yeah, we're going to count numbers. ¿verdad? We're going to count numbers. Yes. We're going to count numbers. Y en esto de count numbers, what we're going to be using is uh, once. ¿Qué quiere decir once? Once. Una vez. Una vez. Una vez. Una vez. Una vez. Yes. Uh, uh, Tatiana, ta, Tatiana, have you tried uh, uh, seafood? Uh, only once, teacher. Only once. Yes. Una vez. Yeah. Y después de once, yes, viene el twice. Twice. Entonces, el twice, ¿qué será? Paola, María, Alvarado, Cerrón. Dos veces. Dos veces. Yes. Very good. Once, una vez, twice, dos veces, y de ahí para allá ya le ponemos numbers, ¿verdad? Número a las veces, three times. Yeah, three times, four times. Las veces que usted quiera, yes. Entonces, eh, solo el once y el twice es el diferente de ahí para allá. After twice, you just put a number in front of the word times. And that will be the numbers of events. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yes, teacher. Ok, very good. Eh, Stella, ¿ha visto usted la, la, la película Titanic? ¿Have you seen the Titanic? 
Yes. Yes, it's a beautiful movie, huh? It's a beautiful movie, ¿verdad que sí? Es una yes. película muy bonita. Ok, no. entonces... ¿Ah? Huh? I'm sorry. No, no mucho. No mucho. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Ok. Ok, entonces le voy a preguntar a otra. Paola, ¿la viste la movie? ¿Está bonita o no está bonita? Yes. ¿Sí le gustó? Sí. No. Sí. Ok, entonces, how many times, Paola, how many times, how many times did you, did you, uh -huh, watch, see? watch the movie Titanic? Sí. About... Ahora, yeah. yes, And ahora I... Paola, Paola, ¿qué le estoy preguntando yo aquí cuando digo how many times? ¿Cuántas veces he visto? Sí, ajá, entonces usted me va a contestar las veces, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, about dijo. Times. Ten. ¿Ten qué? Ten. Yes, usted va a decir about ten times, teacher. Yes. About ten, ten uh, chair. About ten times, teacher. Yeah. ¿Por qué? Porque le estoy preguntando el tiempo, ¿ya? Yeah? Las eventos. How many times? Yes. Event. Yes. Okay. Y uh, Rufino. Ya comió. Ay. Yes. Ay. Yes. I just eat. Ya comió. Okay. Entonces, yo le pregunto a Rufino, Rufino, how many times did you eat today? Yes. Y Rufino, ¿qué me va a contestar? How many times did you eat today, Rufino? Three times. Yes. He was said, yes. he's going to say three, three, three times, teacher. Yeah. Three times, teacher. Yes. Y así es. Ve que fácil es eh, eh, contestar esa pregunta. How many times? Yes. It's very easy. Yes. Eh, Gabriela, ¿usted ha ido al museo alguna vez? Yeah, sí. Okay. Entonces yo le voy a preguntar how many times? How many times have you? Have you been to the museum? How many times have you been to the museum? ¿Y usted me contesta? Twice. Perdón. Sorry. Twice. How many? Twice. Twice. Yes. Only twice, teacher. Twice. Only twice, teacher. Yeah. Only twice. Muy caro, ¿verdad? Okay. Está muy caro, ¿eh? <laughs> Too expensive. Yes, Too expensive. Only twice, teacher. Yes. Eso es twice. Yes. Y Jose Vega. Le, le está gustando la clase, lo veo bien, bien entusiasmado ahí escribiendo todo. Le está, gusta, le está gustando la clase. De hecho, de todas las clases de esta semana las estoy transcribiendo en un, en un cuerpo para después repasar. Oh, ok. Very good. Ok, entonces le voy a preguntar algo. How many times will you watch this video yeah how many times will you watch this video yeah. four times four times yeah very good four times teacher four times teacher very good excellent see It's easy, huh? How many times will you watch this video? Ah, uh, four times, teacher. Four times. Very good. Excellent. ¿Alguna pregunta de cómo usar el how many times? No? 
Entonces aprendimos a usar el how much time, el how long y el how many how times. Many times. Yeah. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Ok. ¿Puedo borrar esto ya? Yes. Ok. Entonces, como vamos a aprender acerca de measurements y um, distance, vamos a aplicar. We're going to apply the words that we need to learn in order for us to be able to ask about measurements and distance. For example, if I want to, if I want to know the size of something, I will be using how big. How big. Yeah. How big. Y después viene el complement, ¿verdad? Lo que yo quiero saber, la medida, measurements de esa. Entonces puedo decir, how big is Nicaragua? Yeah. Y le pongo la question mark. How big is Nicaragua? So, yes, puedo decir eso. O también puedo decir... How far? How far? Si quiero saber la distancia. Distance. Yes. How far is San Salvador? San Salvador. How far is San Salvador from Santa Ana? Okay. Sa how far is San Salvador from Santa Ana. Yeah. So that's when I'm asking about a distance. If I'm asking about a size, I'm going to say, how big is Nicaragua? So if I want to ask about the height of something, I will say, how, how high, how high is El Boquerón? Yeah. How high is the Boqueron? Sí, estoy preguntando la altura. How high? How high is Estela Lara? Yes. Y alguien me dice, oh, she's uh, two meters high. Ella es do, de, mide dos metros. Yes. How high is el Boqueron? En este caso, I'm asking for the, the volcano. Yes. How high is el Boqueron? Ahora, si quiero saber yo la profundidad de algo, yo digo, how Deep. Deep. Yes, how deep is, is Apulo. Apulo Lake. Yes, how deep is Apulo Lake? Yes. Estoy preguntando por la profundidad de Apulo. Yeah. O le puedo decir a, a Jenny Sánchez, eh, pregúntele al novio, how deep is your love? Yes, como la song, ¿eh? Yes. <laughs> Como la song, como la canción. How deep is your love? Yeah. How deep is Apulo? Yes. O puedo preguntar por la distancia. ¿Qué tan largo es algo? Puedo decir, how long is um, Lempa, Lempa River? How long is Lempa River? Yes. Eso es para... La distancia, ¿ya? Si quiero saber la temperatura, how hot is El Salvador? El Salvador. How hot is El Salvador? Si quiero saber eh, la, la temperatura, qué tan eh, caliente es. O si quiero saber qué tan frío es, digo, how cold es it in the winter. Yeah. How cold is it in the winter? Yes. Refiriéndome al Salvador, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tan frío es en el invierno? Yeah. Ahora, ¿cómo voy a contestar? How far is San Salvador from Santa Ana? Ahí necesitan que una medida, ¿ya? Podemos decir nosotros, oh, eh, it's, it's about, it's about um, 68 
point one, um, sixty-eight point one kilometers. Yes, sixty-eight point one kilometers. Oh, si lo queremos en 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 millas, we can say oh, it's about thirty-seven point nine miles. If you want it in miles, okay? So how far is San Salvador from Santa Ana, Jenny Sanchez? I don't know. Aquí está, no, no. Ahí está la respuesta. Solo quiero que la lea. Ah, it's about, uh... Six, 68.1 kilometers. Kilometers, yes. Kilometers. O? Y millas? Uh, 58.9 miles. ¿A dónde está leyendo Jenny? Treinta y siete punto nueve millas. Sí. ¿Cómo se dice? Treinta y siete. Thirty. Thirty-eight. Ese treinta y ocho. Thirty-seven. I'm sorry. ¿Qué está pensando Jenny? Tiene hambre, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Yes. Ahí con... Solo tiene que leer ahí, Jenny. No, la información ahí está. Ya yo se la, yo se la investigué la, investiga, la información y ahí está. La, solo tiene que leerla. So, okay. La respuesta es uh, How far is San Salvador from Santa Ana? It's about 68.1 kilometers or 37.9 miles. Eso es lo que esperaba que usted me leyera, ¿ok? Okay. okay, so let's continue. How big is Nicaragua? Now, over here, uh, remember, we have uh, square miles. Eh, esto lo estoy leyendo para que usted aprenda el vocabulario que necesita cuando usted eh, esté usando este tipo de, 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 de conversaciones. Yeah. So, how big is Nicaragua? So, le, le hacemos it's. No sé si it is, ¿verdad? It's, it's, y ponemos... 130, 130, 130,373 square kilometers. O si lo queremos en, en miles, decimos 50,414.5 ma, uh, miles. Yeah, no, square. Square, square miles. Mile. Yes, uh -huh. square miles. Yes, si lo queremos en miles. Ok, Luis, ya que usted me lo leyó. Eh, le voy a preguntar, Luis, how big is Nicaragua? It's 100 <clears throat> Excuse me. 130,000? Yes. 3,073 373 square kilometer or 50,414.5 uh -huh. square mile. Yes, very good. It's 130,373 square kilometers or 50,414.5 square miles. Miles. Okay, eso es la respuesta. 
Ok, lo demás les va a quedar a ustedes para que lo investiguen, ¿sí? ¿yes? Para que eh, no se aburran, que yo les esté dando todo. Así, tengan, eh, eh, investigue how high is el boquerón. Eh, how, en, en, lo, va, lo va a traer en meters y feet, el boquerón. How deep is uh, a pool of lake? Eso lo va a traer en meters y en feet también. And how long is Lempa River? Ese lo va a traer en kilómetros en miles. ¿Sí, Luis Enrique? Teacher. Yes. That Se le ha cortado. Yo que me no. Sí, sí, pero se le he cortado. No le entiendo lo que me está preguntando. Ok. If we can use it, yes. Ok. En el internet. Yes. And, and how hot... What you're going to get is you're going to get Celsius and also Fahrenheit. Celsius and Fahrenheit. And uh, how hot is El Salvador? And how cold is it in the winter? Yes, también Celsius and Fahrenheit. Esa es la información que usted va a encontrar. ¿Ok? Y eso lo vamos a ver el Monday. Okay, so let's uh, let's do the um, the exercise in the website is asking us to do something about. Uh, it's a write a question to this answer. Remember to use how. Start your question with an uppercase letter and finish with the question mark. So over here, what we have is Angels Falls is 979 meters, 3,212 feet high. ¿Cómo vamos a comenzar esta pregunta? How be. How? How high is Angels Falls? How high is Angels Falls? Falls. Falls. And question mark, right? And question mark. Yes. Very good. Now, California is about 403,970 square kilometers or 155,973 square miles. How big? How big is California? How big is California? Question mark. Yes, California, question mark. Very good. And uh, the Nile is 600, 6,670 kilometers or 4,145 miles long. How long is the Nile? How long is the Nile? The Nile. The Nile. Okay, and question mark for that? Yes. And the last one, it says uh, Washington, D.C. gets up to about 32 degrees Celsius, 90 Fahrenheit in the summer. How hot? How hot? Is Washington. How hot? Is Washington, D.C. Washington. How hot is, yes? Washington, D.C., right? Yes? In the summer. In the summer. Question mark. Summer, in the summer. In the summer. In question mark. I think a question mark. 
Ahí estamos bien. Ok. Vamos a ver. Uh, Estela Lara, léame la primera pregunta, please. Y la answer. How high is Angels Falls? Angels Falls. La, Angel Falls. Y la, Falls. aquí la respuesta es. Angel Falls is nine. Nine hundred. Seven. Nine. Ajá. Seventy nine meter. Three hundred and. Ay, twelve height. Ah, okay. Entonces esa sería three hundred, two hundred twelve. ¿O cómo fue? No, two hundred. Three hundred two. Okay, three hundred two. Okay. No. No, no. <laughs> three hundred two twelve twelve feet. Yeah, two twelve. ¿Qué es? Doscientos doce. Creo. No. <laughs> Ok, el, en el 3 pruebe 1000. Estela, en el 3 pruebe 1000. Tranquila, no se preocupe, tranquila. En el, en el 3 pruebe 1000. Sí, pero apagó el micrófono. Apagó el micrófono. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Ok, hoy sí lo escucho. Yes. feet high. Ok. 3,212 feet high. Yes, 3,212 feet high. Very good, very good. Uh, Gabriela Cortez, number two. How big is California? Mm -hmm. California is about 4,003. Okay. 90, 70 square kilometers. And 1,055. 90, Seventy-three square miles. Square miles. Square okay. Miles. So California is about uh, four hundred three thousand nine hundred seventy square kilometers, or a hundred fifty-five thousand nine hundred seventy-three square miles. Okay. Okay, Paola, number three. How long is the Nile? The Nile is six thousand six hundred seventy kilometers or four thousand one hundred forty five miles long. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay, Jose Vega, do you want to try number four? No. 
Alcott is Washington DC in the summer. Okay. Washington DC get up to about 32 degrees Celsius and 1950. In the summer. Very good. Yeah, Washington DC gets up to about 32 degrees Celsius or 90 Fahrenheit in the summer. Very good. Let's see if, uh, if we got him all right. No, Washington, we got it wrong. So how hot? It's correct, teacher. Only the point. The period. DC, D, point, C, point, um, comma. How hot is Washington? Washington DC, DC, D, right point, here. C D point, point, yes, there you go. C point, C, mm -hmm. no, C point, DC, C point, C point, point, uh -huh, comma, 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 okay, okay, comma, comma, uh, yes, 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 comma, in okay. the summer, in the summer, yes, very good. So, what's the, um, there you go. So we finished uh, chapter four and Monday, we're gonna start chapter five, okay? So and remember that you have uh, homework for Monday, all right? Okay. Very good, good job. Okay, okay, all of you have a wonderful weekend. We hope you're the best. You and too. Rest well, and get ready for Monday, okay? You too, teacher. Have a good night. See you later. Bye-bye, see you Monday. Bye-bye.